She was 19 when this all went down. The nudes that got sent to her parents were taken after she had turned 19. Redditors who post their own nudes on NSFW subs, have your friends and family accidentally stumble across your content? How did they react to it? Hello again viewer, I'm so glad you can join me, Andrew the narrator, for another awesome story time. While you're here, why not hit subscribe and the like button, it really helps with the algorithm. If you don't I'll confiscate your Riley Reed fleshlight. Anyways hope you did that, let's get into the stories. My 80-year-old uncle said he found professionally made porn, postcards, of all things. Of his older brother. Evidently Uncle Art was pretty good at banging twins in the rumble seat of a Model T. On Barstool, I saw a post about a high school bio teacher who liked being done while hubby filmed it. They posted it to Pornhub somehow the students recognized her. Yozer. Back when I was single, I had an active Pornhub account. The guy I was casually dating claimed to have accidentally stumbled on the account and completely went off on me about what a slut I was. I dated someone who was recognized through her gone old account by her family. Caused some drama for her and her family but wasn't life-changing. We actually met on Reddit then met in person. She was nice. I had a nude tumbler up until the porn ban. The first nude I ever posted I submitted anonymously to a body positivity blog. I didn't show my face so I never thought anyone would recognize me until my best friend found it. Turns out he recognized me by the necklace I was wearing in the picture, even though I didn't think it was that recognizable. We ended up becoming friends with benefits off and on for four years. My friends at Unif found some porn with me on the Uni network. It was this hot blonde sorting herself out. Halfway through, specifically at the point any viewer would be enjoying the video enough that they're not turning it off, I show up bouncing on my bed, fully clothed, screaming with a pillow cover on my head, and dancing to the music in the club scene in the first Blade movie. After 30s, we cut back to the blonde as if nothing happened. Not quite what you're asking about here, but when I was 20-ish I found out a friend of mine was gay, when he showed me a picture of me that showed up on his porn forum. It had been fairly convincingly photoshopped from a shirtless modeling shot that someone had somehow gotten a hold of, from the photographer I assume, since my copies were lower resolution. At least they gave me a monster dong and improved my abs. In the shot I looked a bit like Ryan Phillip, and I assume the artist mistook me for him. Said friend later tried to grind on me when I crashed on his couch after a night of drinking, and told me how many times he had fantasized about me from that picture ended up sleeping in my car that night. We're not friends anymore. I never told her, but I know this girl from high school, and I seen a video of her online. I only recognized her by the tattoo above her breasts, and honestly I'm very open-minded, and may have said something to her if it wasn't so goofy. But in the video she holds up a cupcake, and says this is how I eat a cupcake, and then proceeds to stuff the cupcake into her pussy, while saying nom nom nom. Maybe she didn't say anything, but that's how I remember it lol. Not sure if this counts, but I used to post nudes on Tumblr, and also on a local gay forum's NSFW thread during my formative years, aka horny and single. I've had closeted classmates writing to me, in good faith, letting me know that somebody leaked my nudes. I'd thank them and say it's alright, I was the one who uploaded them. I grew up in a conservative Asian country and was probably the only out gay guy in my university class, so it's always kinda fun to see people DM PMing me on the forum and go like, oh I think I know who you are. One tried to blackmail me. I asked him to write that on sandpaper and shove it up his own arse. Not me, but when I signed up for Instagram a couple of years ago, all of my Facebook friends were automatically added. It turns out someone I kinda knew from high school had started taking some nude photos of herself in various public spots around my hometown and posting them to what she thought was a private account. I was a bit shocked at first because this woman was always very quiet when I knew her and as far as I knew, had been consistently dating the same guy since high school. In the end I decided to send her a DM to say hey, this is awkward, but I just thought I'd let you know that your Instagram account is somehow linked to your Facebook account and automatically got added for me when I signed up. Or something to that effect. 
She responded almost immediately to apologize and thank me for the heads up and has since deleted her private account. When I was 15 I was sexting with someone on the internet one night and sent some dick and body pics. With half of my face in one of them because I'm a ducking idiot. Totally forgot about it for months. Then somebody in my school posted a link to one of the pictures I had sent to another person anonymously on some questions website. Turns out the person I was sexting had posted it on Tumblr or something. Luckily it didn't become a giant school-wide scandal, but all of my friend group found out about it and saw the picture. And the kicker is that it outed me. I can tell you that I really sympathized with J-Law when the fappening happened. I like my dick and everything and I liked my body, but there's something that makes you feel very vulnerable, knowing that the people you interact with have seen you like that when you haven't seen them like that. I felt like a pedo or something. Like no matter what I did, they'd always remember that thing about me. A close friend of mine had a video of him leaked in a wrestling outfit, jacking himself off with a dildo and doing some butt stuff with it. It was like 4 minutes long, his face was clearly in it, anyone watching could tell it was him. We were 16 at the time, and the video was at least 2 years old, so there were red flags all over. Friend's dad worked at the school as the orchestra teacher, and this is the kind of stuff kids kill themselves over, so we were worried and didn't want this getting out. I'm a scrawny dude so I went and grabbed my more intimidating friend, and we followed the share trail back to the first person at our school to find it, and made sure everyone who had seen it wasn't going to say anything. We tracked it back to a single gay porn Tumblr account that had posted it. Most of it was 18 plus content, but there were a few models that didn't really look over 18 at all. I contacted the owner and threatened to report them to the FBI for distributing child pornography, and that dude practically cleared his blog of all content he was so scared. Contacted Tumblr staff on the side and they eventually shut the whole thing down. According to the Tumblr dude, he had been sent the video by a woman who said she had permission, as this was her boyfriend, and he was over 18, he looked like a child in the video, no way someone could mistake him for being over 18. We figured out the woman was our friend's ex, a former senior at the school who had apparently shared it as part of revenge porn. She had moved across the country after she graduated the year prior so there wasn't much we could do, but another close friend of ours had dated her, and somehow her nudes got anonymously sent to her parents. Weird coincidence. Friend had no idea any of this happened at all and still doesn't to this day. It's been five years. Not sure if I'm ever gonna tell him. The two of us managed to squash the entire thing before more than five people at our school got a hold of it, and we went out of our way to berate people trying to spread the rumor. That it. Holy hot damn, platinum, five gold and four silvers? I barely read it and this means a lot. To all the people sharing kind words, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I haven't shared this story with anyone except my girlfriend since it happened and honestly planned on taking it to the grave, so this means the world. Thank you. I've gotten lots of questions so I'll try to answer those here. 1. Why didn't you actually call the FBI? I was a kid, I didn't know how it all actually worked or if they ever even truly did anything about that. If it happened today I'd be on hold as I type this, but I was a high schooler just trying to scare this blogger into removing the source material. All evidence of this is gone so there'd be nothing to report today. 2. You revenge pornid to get revenge on revenge porn, that's ducked up. Only her parents received it, and I wasn't even the one to initiate it. I can't say I ever disapproved of what happened, but the aforementioned intimidating friend and the other friend who had dated her were the ones to move forward with that. 3. You also distributed child pornography by sending that girl's nudes. I mentioned she was a graduated senior, which should imply she's over 18, but I guess I should have made that clear. She was 19 when this all went down. The nudes that got sent to her parents were taken after she had turned 19. 4. Why was she dating a 14-year-old? No idea. He was 14, and she was 17 when the video happened. He considered it a bragging right, and most people seemed more keen on praising him than condemning her. I remember it being weird, but it was still dude you're dating a junior. Awesome. 5. Do you guys still talk? Not really. We weren't super super close, he was just a good buddy in our friend group that I was looking out for. 
He went on to become a pretty successful wrestler and now does weight training. We haven't talked much since we both graduated. I'd still call him my friend, we just don't keep in touch. Thanks for watching. What did you think of the story time? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any more story times.